Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. We want to let you know about a very special event that's coming here to Central Iowa in February. We want to give you several weeks head start so you can make plans to join us for an event that helps out so many kids. It's called the Husky Soiree, and Sharon Fife is joining us. She's the Soiree Chair to let you know all about what is going on. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Hi, Lou. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We have been proud to be involved with the Husky Soiree for going on its third year of existence. Now, we've been involved with it all three years, and this year, as opposed to last year, we get to do the Soiree in person, if you are so inclined. Is that right? That is true. Yep. We're going to spread out again at Franklin Event Center in their massive auditorium. If you choose to join us in person, we'll have delicious catered food at stations throughout the event space, or you can join us again virtually with or without food. All right. Now, uh, this event is uh, raising money for uh, it's a great organization, the, the Hoover Meredith Learning Community Foundation. They do so many good things for some of the schools uh, in central Iowa. Uh, first of all, tell everybody the schools uh, that are involved with this program. You bet. So it's our four elementary schools, Hillis, Monroe, Moore, Samuelson, and then Meredith Middle School and Hoover High School. The foundation supports learning enhancement grants that supplement the learning that's happening daily in all six of those schools. Right. And so what kind of things uh, do they help them with? Uh, for example, uh, in the future, like uh, later on this year, if an organization needs some help, a school needs some help, what kind of things do you do? You bet. So things like registration and transportation costs to field experiences in our community, supplemental literature for their libraries, materials for their science kits, math equipment, new instruments, you name it. So things that students are using every day or experiences that students need to enhance their learning. Okay, now we saw some of the photos from the first Husky Soiree a couple years ago. Last year, it was virtual, it was a virtual event, but uh, as we heard, we can do a couple of different options. You can either join us in person. Uh, what is the date so people can circle their calendars, so people can make plans? Saturday, February 19th, 2022. Doors will open around 530. If you're joining us in person, we'll have live entertainment all evening and send you home at a reasonable time. Yeah, and now you mentioned food. Uh, you are going to have food there, and we're not just talking about any old food. And if you do choose to do the virtual option, want to let people know you can still enjoy the food that everybody there is enjoying. At the same time, you can pick it up and then bring it back to wherever you're going to watch it virtually, too. That is an option, but tell everybody who's catering this event. Yes, Joni and great caterers of Iowa. We look so forward to their food. It's delicious. She's cooked up some uh, great stations for us. So you'll have a variety of foods and have a fun evening. Yeah, and uh, we saw a picture of uh, a goblet that was really cool. Uh, you know, you have one of those each year too. Uh, tell us about that. It's our third annual collector's goblet. Um, we've had one at each of the soirees. This year, you can purchase a VIP table, be front and center of all the action, and have your goblet be included for you and seven guests. Um, or you can purchase that goblet separately in addition to your either in-person or virtual ticket. You don't want to miss this year's goblet for your collection, I'm sure. <laughs> that is great. Now, uh, what is the cost for, for people if they want to join us? So $50 for in-person or virtual with food or virtual without food is just 25 So right. that VIP table is $600 for a group of eight. All right. Lots of different. Yeah, this is, is such a neat event. Uh, we are honored to be asked to, uh, to be there. We're going to be there with bells on, hosting the event, running around and uh, chatting up with people. Uh, we'll take a bunch of photos as well and see how much money we can raise and just help out. How many kids are we talking about here that are going to be uh, able to benefit from an event like this? Yes, there are nearly 4,000 students at these six schools, so a significant contribution to our the northwest side of Des Moines and, and uh, the community at large. All right, now if people want to get more information on this, they want to look back at some of the old photos and they want to sign up and, and join us on the 19th of February for this event uh, over at the Franklin Event Center. What's the best thing they can do, easiest thing they can do? Go to our website. It's hmlcf.org. You'll find the soiree link there about more information for the event, how to register, 
Um, and like you said, some highlights from previous years, you know what you're looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, great. And we, you can even see the, the interview you and I did last year uh, for the Swarantine is what they called it, the Swarantine edition of the Husky Soiree. All right, we are going to do it again. We're going to do it upright. It's the third annual Husky Soiree together again on February 19th, raising money for the Hoover Meredith Learning Community Foundation. Sharon, thank you so much, and we are so looking forward to this event. Thank you, sir. Can't wait to see you. Always appreciate your support. All right. There you have it, folks. Hopefully you can join us for that either in person or virtually and help out up to 4,000 students in those six schools that we just talked about. Have a great day, everybody. We will see you back here tomorrow on Iowa Live.